Hi, my name is Randy Siebold, Vice President of Education for Weimar Center for Health and Education. Also, Dean of Weimar College, and I have with me Dr. David DeRose. David, glad you're here. Great to be with you, Randy. All right. So uh, this afternoon, what we want to do is spend a little bit of time getting to know you, and uh, uh, people uh, have probably, well, at least some at least have heard you speak or some of your uh, authoring that you've done. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the background and how you were you you came into your uh, uh, a physician and teaching uh, health classes uh, here at Weimar. What's some of your background? Well, it's it's kind of an unusual trajectory for a physician. I did first go into uh, medical studies. I got my MD degree from Loma Linda University. Mm -hmm. Went on and finished an, an internal medicine residency at Kettering Medical Center and Wright State University in Ohio. Went into practice, but my focus was always on preventive medicine. The Lord orchestrated things over the years, and I ended up getting a master's in public health and then also getting my boards in preventive medicine. Along the way, though, the Lord kept speaking to me about this vision of more physicians being involved in evangelism. And through some interesting experiences, the Lord got me more involved in public evangelism and public health ministry, something that he opened up early in my career, but the evangelistic component was much later. Ultimately got a call to pastor uh, half-time, and while pastoring, the Lord opened some other doors to start teaching in the community college system in uh, northern New England. So I was teaching health professional students there at uh, uh, Central Maine Community College in, mm -hmm. uh, in Auburn, Maine. Wow. And, and now this uh, all happened after your conversion and because you weren't raised as an no, Adventist, were you? I never heard of Seventh-day Adventist growing up and the Lord got my attention as an agnostic college student in a secular college. Mm. Uh, helped me to see that there really was a God, got me studying Bible prophecy. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I came into the church wanting nothing to do with, with Ellen White. I just wanted to study the Bible mm -hmm. and the Lord worked through some means to get me to start actually looking at some of the things that uh, that woman had written and I rapidly came to the conclusion this was not just the work of a woman this was there was something supernatural about it became very readily evident that it was God that was directing Amen. her and God used that to change my life style around and change my health around I had a lot of health problems even though I was uh, a young man at the time and so was that was that while you were in medical school or was, I was that in something college. pretty influential in you going into medicine? Exactly, exactly. I caught this vision for medical ministry while uh, reading the Bible, reading the counsel that God had given through Ellen White. Wow, and that's where you sensed God calling you into that. Exactly. And in your exactly. wife also too as a physician. Yes, my wife has deeper roots in the Adventist church but uh, he directed her into medicine as well. She had a calling to medicine when she was five. Oh, wow. That's when she first remembers knowing that she was supposed to be a doctor. And that's a whole Amazing. other providential story yes. of how the Lord uh, took her and, and got her through college and med school when she really came from a family that had, had basically nothing. Wow. Wow. And what a ministry you folks have even now on the campus. Oh, it's exciting. And your children. Yeah. and Tremendous. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So uh, just a little bit then about what you're doing now on campus. You're working with the uh, both the New Start Lifestyle Center and with the college. You want to start a little bit with the what you do at New Start? Sure. I mean, many people who've watched videos from Weimar realize that I'm one of the physicians in the New Start Clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, the clinic works hand in hand with our residential New Start lifestyle program. Mm -hmm. People coming from all over the world to change their lifestyle, get on a healthier way of living, and really, to be honest with you, reconnect with God's healing program. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do in New Start. I have the privilege of being one of the physicians there. I'm half time with the New Start program and, and the clinic, and then the other half time I'm with the college. That's good. So. Uh, you know, we have uh, the students who are taking your classes. Uh, there is a, there's, they know your classes are going to be very practical, very hands-on, and they're going to be doing ministry. In whatever class you do, mm -hmm. you just turn it right into ministry. Oh, that's exciting. I mean, what's, what's really exciting about it, you know, many kids, Randy, you know this, there's many serious Seventh-day Adventist young people, they're praying about what God wants them to do with their life. Mm -hmm. 
And they say, you know what, I don't want to spend a long time in school. I've got to be out there right there on the front lines right now. Well, the amazing thing about Weimar and like the health classes that I'm involved with, they're on the front lines. Right now. I mean, there's, there's people coming to the Adventist church in Bible studies now. They trace their contact to things that my students did in a health uh, ministry or health evangelism class. It's that right arm that's being activated and, and put into work. Yeah, and that's, that to me is one of the most exciting things about Weimar, that we're not just, it's not just a place in a beautiful location where people can study under... All those things are true. <laughs> All those things are true. <laughs> but, but what's actually happening is it's a place for ministry. You don't have to yes, choose yes. between whether I'm going to go to school and or get be trained. in ministry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can actually do ministry and get training at the same time, and that's why I'm so excited about being able to teach at Weimar College. So this, uh, this passion for ministry... Is that something that's grown as you? Sure, I, and I think it grows because, you know, as the Lord lets you get involved with ministry and you see the impact, um, it's, it's thrilling and it's exciting then to be able to train other people. I've, uh, early on in my career as a physician, before I was really doing public evangelism as far as preaching, mm -hmm. the Lord opened up doors for me to be in a small church that actually invited me to start doing health seminars at a time when I thought I had no capacity to do that. Mm. But the Lord used that to help me see that there was this tremendous avenue of reaching communities, reaching people through health ministry. And so you, what, you're, what you're saying is that the, the, some of these people are being reached in where they would never be reached in any other way. Oh no, it, it's incredible, Randy, because Right now, just yesterday, I got an email from a woman. I met her through a health expo that some of our Weimar College students did at Sierra College. She's mm -hmm. a student there. Mm -hmm. She's a student, in, um, not a traditional student. He has a son and a husband. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he's also in, uh, in the midst of his educational work. But the interesting thing is she's now connected with us. She sent me some you know, questions about some health issues that were going on in her family. She's uh, been in the home of uh, some of the other uh, Adventist folks who attended the meeting. And so you just see people walking through the doors, coming here on the Weimar campus that mm -hmm. would not have come here for any other reason. And so you say, look it, this is powerful. My students, Randy, one of the things uh, I'll never forget, uh, one of the students at the end of a uh, course in health evangelism, he said, you know, we hardly did anything to advertise this program. We knocked on a few doors, passed out a few flyers. We had a, a big group of people. This would never have happened for Bible meetings. Yes. So whatever I do right. in ministry, I'm going to be doing health evangelism with it. So, and so what you're saying is you have all the students from all the different programs of Weimar are all taking this class. So whether they're going to be a teacher, a physical therapist, a physician, a pastor, they all understand the power of health evangelism. Exactly. Because exactly. it's not something you have... You have to be, apparently, what you're saying is you don't have to be a health expert to do this. No, that's exactly right. You don't. You just have to have a willing heart and allow the Lord to lead you with the training you have. One of the things we do in the health evangelism class is we begin the class by each student sharing a health testimony. And mm. some of them, they share really struggles they're having. They don't feel like they've arrived. Others talk about successes they've had. And the students start connecting. Here are the resources we have in this room to do health ministry. This mm. person's had this struggle. This person's been involved with this program. Wow. And they start saying, look it, the Lord's brought a team together where we can minister. And then they can, uh, again, the idea, and, and we've talked about this uh, in our faculty meetings, the idea of equipping young people and not building ministries on this campus per se, but the idea of equipping them so they can take their ministries out. So right. uh, essentially your training then is to help these young people go to their church and do that same thing. Exactly. Ask those same questions and just help to facilitate it in the same way. They may not be the, the medical expert, mm -hmm. but there may be someone in there that can uh, draw on and bring that up. Wow, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise yeah. the Lord. Well, the stu again, the students have been excited about seeing you here. Um, the Lord is using you and your family uh, on this campus. We appreciate it. And I appreciate you taking some time to come and um, just share yourself with the folk. And thank you for spending a few moments with us, too, in meeting Dr. David DeRose. Thanks, David. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you.